Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we are going to be taking a look at a collaboration done with Jordan and J Balvin on the Air Jordan 2 in the High series and this is in the Celestine blue colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to hit that join button for all of our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store Today we're going to be talking about a really cool special collaboration. I did do kind of an early sneak peek on these, but I was super excited when I had these in hand. So I'm so happy I was able to snag a pair. These are the J Balvin Air Jordan 2s in the Celestine blue colorway. We'll go through the overview, talk about size and fit, followed by how I styled this really fun quirky colorway. Then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. This is such a beautiful all over color scheme. I never did uh, actual unboxing on the J Balvin Air Jordan 1s, which was a very kind of bright rainbow color way that he went with. Uh, you do see that rainbow color, but it's very subtle, which I like on this specific color scheme that he's gone with. And that is just on the stitching. So you'll see on the front of the toe box version here, we have rainbow stitching and just nice blue nubuck suede on the front of the toe box and then as we work our way up we have white laces but the laces do have a really cool quirky tip these have pink lace tips you do have the option of having it in this nice kind of aquamarine teal color scheme or this light powder blue and then as we work our way to the eyelets, we have this kind of like frosty, icy blue eyelet, and then more of that rainbow stitching on the side panels of the tongue there. Uh, we've got just a nice powder cel Celestine blue for the tongue. It's nice and smooth. And then we've got the Air Jordan Wings logo. This is my favorite part of the secret self. This is actually a light, so that does turn on into that cool green colorway. Let's take a look at those last and final details. So when I saw that these both light up, I had to grab a pair. This is my only seeker that has anything, I guess, remotely anywhere close to this light up system. It's kind of like 
the LA gear sneaker, but you don't have to like stomp for it to light up. This just stays lit, which is really cool. Uh, so excited to actually wear these out at night. Let me just not drain the battery. I don't know how long those will last, but super cool. Uh, just because the whole idea, I guess, or moral behind this is follow your light. So it would make sense that he's added a really cool light on the actual silhouette itself. As we work our way to the side panels, you'll notice that this style is just this cool kind of puffer look. Uh, the side paneling also is in a light blue and white color scheme, again, with that rainbow stitching. As we work our way to the back of the heel and underneath that kind of puffer material, we've got really cool clouds. So love that they've added that detail in there. We do have J Balvin's smiley face logo and then Nike on the back in that white color scheme. On the interior, there's a lot going on here. So this is the power switch that you see for the light. And then we've got this really cool cloud pattern that matches the back of the heel, but it's actually on the interior collar in that satin material. So it's really nice and sheen. And then we've got Air Jordan in the J Balvin text or font, you could say, with more of that cloud print on the insole. As we work our way to the bottom, we have a white midsole and a kind of icy blue outsole which apparently actually glows in the dark so excited to kind of see what this looks like in the dark we'll have to take a look at that then we do have this really just nice vibrant box in hot pink with the lightning bolts and that bright pop of neon green all right let's take a look at all those last and final details All right, so now let's talk about size and fit on these. So as far as size goes, these run very small. I actually ordered these in two different sizes because I wasn't actually sure whether or not I was gonna be my true to size. And I'm so glad that I ordered a half a size up because I cannot seem to fit the seven and a half. These are just way too snug. So I highly, highly recommend going minimum half a size up in these. They do run very small, which on the Air Jordan 2 silhouette, I'm able to kind of finagle that, but not in the high. All right, and if you do have higher snow feet like myself, that would make sense for you. But if you do have wider, flatter feet, that could actually differentiate something that works completely opposite. All right, so now let's jump into styling. Again, a really cool color scheme, a really cool cloud pattern. So I really wanted to play off of the blue color scheme that we've got here. For the first look, I decided to just wear light blue sweats from head to toe, just to kind of match and play off the light blue or the Celestine blue that you see throughout this specific silhouette. <laughs> And then for the next outfit, I decided to wear some khaki wide leg pants with a cropped button down uh, top that was a nice pop of blue, which I think matched this quite perfectly. Y 
Chico y yo from Ya estamos en otro nivel Yo visto a mi calote Prendan los motores que nos vamos Aquí todos los días son de verano De lunes a lunes nunca paramos yeah. Ya está saliendo el sol, ven y prendete. Esto es fácil No me llames si tú andas con Lucy Estamos en Miami En un yate Un corito sano No le pare yeah, yeah. Yo, no. And then for the last and final look, I dressed up with an animal printed dress in blue and black. Layered that with a button down jacket in blue as well. So you let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you sell these? Now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $300 and they are currently going between $300 to $400. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you on the next episode. B&B, elevation high, laying low. I'm with a tan who's down to f***ing cook me shit I got from Trader Joe's. Say they making moves, but we making more. I stay in the zone.